Hey there Titans, welcome to Form Titan Basics. In this video we will talk about the repeated section. Let's go ahead and add a section. And we're going to set it up to be repeated. And let's add a text box and say that we want this section to create accounts. So we're going to call this account name. And Let's set up our push. Okay, so we'll add the account and map our field, account name, save our form, let's publish it. Okay, so we'll call this first and second. And submit. Let's head to our integration logs. And we can see we have two accounts created. First and second. Okay, so that's just the basis of this. Let's see how we can control the repeated section with conditions. So let's add a numeric field. And we'll say how many to create. And we're going to head over to our numeric field, to our conditions. We're going to set a condition. And we'll say if it's not empty, then I want you to go to the section and set items. And we're going to set it to how many accounts to create. Pay attention that you can do reset items or add items. And you can use it in conditioning as well. Let's, let's publish our form again. Let's see how it does. So I'll click three, and you can see that it automatically added three accounts. You can add more, and if you fill them up and save, then it will create the accounts you put it in. Another thing I would like to show you, it's inline saving. So first thing we'll do is add a hidden. In our instance the hidden will be, let's put it over here, and we'll call the hidden count ID, and we'll put a button, and we're going to click the configure, push. We want to save um, account inline uh, an inline save. So we're going to use uh, a custom button creating an account. Let's map, map our fields. So our account name we're mapping again. It's apply. We'll finish and we'll select inline save an account and we're going to say um, we're going to select the account ID that will return object to an account ID. And we will apply this. Let's change the label here. And we're going to set this again. And we're going to, one important thing to do is to select the execute pair repeated item. It's very important, otherwise it's not going to work. So we will apply this and save. Let's publish our form. We'll add two items. So we'll call this inline one. And I'll save it. And if I'll head back to uh, my integration logs, I'll see that only inline one was created and not inline 2 because I didn't click on inline 2. If I head over here and do inline 2 and save the account, then I'll get another account named inline 2. So this is inline saving with a repeated section. And now if you would, let's say in get, get a bunch of, uh, let's get rid of this. 
saying your get, you would get a bunch of accounts. Okay, so we're going to do execute and form load, and we're going to do all, and we're going to limit by let's do five, and let's map our fields, and we'll map it to our count name, we'll apply. So one thing we it's very important for us to do is in our get to map our account ID. And I'll, I'll explain why in just a second. So let's head back and map it into our hidden field. So I'll map my account ID to the account ID. Apply and finish and save. Let's see how it looks like. Let's refresh our form. So we can see that we got five accounts. So basically what we want to happen here is for Form Titan to update these five accounts that we got and to save the newly created account. So how can we tell the Form Titan to do it? So what we're doing in the push, we're going to get rid of this and we're going to add a, a new call. This is an update one and we're going to say update and we're going to set the condition. We're going to say account ID equals to our ACC ID and if not found then create. Let's map our fields and we're going to map it to the account name and save. So basically what will happen now once I save it, once I run this, so we have the hidden field here with the account ID. If I will change gene point one it will not create a new account, it will just save it. And if I'll add another account, then once I submit the form, so we'll save this one, update the gene point one, gene point to gene point one, and we'll create a new account. So let's save this and see how it does. And we can see that it updated all the accounts and created our newly created account. And this is how it's done.